The red tide continues to stretch up and down our side of the coast. Uh, the new FWC map that you see right here shows that it's now impacting Pinellas County. Now that's good. ABC Action News anchor Jasmine Stiles joining us from Paso Grill Beach, where they just saw their first reported fish kill out there, Jasmine. James, the FWC's report doesn't specify if that fish kill comes from red tide, but people here at Pass a Girl have also experienced respiratory issues, and those two things are hallmarks of red tide. As of now, all you can do is clean up the dead fish or marine life and avoid the area, but Moat Marine Laboratory is testing a machine that would essentially rid closed waterways of red tide. They got the idea for the ozonator from their aquarium, clean, aquarium excuse me, cleaning systems. Try saying that three times fast. Now, to spare you the scientific explanation, it basically pulls water saturated with algae, purifies it, then pushes it back into the waterway. Currently, it's being tested in a canal in Boca Grande, and residents say their fingers are crossed for positive results. This summer has been not like a normal summer. If they can clean it up, we're all for it. It's yet to be determined if it works. I hope so.